sharing with you Latvian Alexander cake. This is a bar cookie rather than a cake, really, as it is two shortbread layers sandwiched together with raspberry jam, topped with icing and cut into squares. So join me today as I share with you this simple yet delicious recipe, and make sure you stick with me all the way through, as I will be exploring the confusing origins of this cake. Is it Latvian, Finnish, Danish, or Swiss? Let's find out. To make the shortbread layers, sift together 300 grams or two and a half cups of all-purpose flour with half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Sift in 100 grams or one cup of powdered sugar and then whisk that all together with the zest of one lemon. Now add in 200 grams or 14 tablespoons of grated unsalted butter. The easiest way to grate butter is to chill or freeze it before you grate it. Now work the butter into the dry ingredients until it resembles wet sand. Then add in one egg and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and roughly mix that in and then start to add milk one tablespoon at a time until the dough comes together. I added four tablespoons of milk in total, but your flour may absorb more or less than mine. Divide the dough in half and wrap in plastic wrap and refrigerate the discs of dough for one hour. After an hour, roll out the dough into a large rectangle on a floured piece of parchment until it is a half a centimeter or a quarter of an inch thick. Don't worry if the edges are a bit rough, you'll trim this after baking. The Latvian version of this dessert is always pictured with thicker layers than its counterparts from Finland and Denmark. So if you'd prefer thick layers, you could press the dough into a rectangular cake pan and bake them that way too. Looking for information about Alexander cake is a bit confusing. Some sources say that it comes from Latvian cuisine and it got its name in honor of the visit of the Russian emperor Alexander III to Riga, Latvia during his reign from 1883 to 1894. However, Alexander cake has been baked in Finland since at least the beginning of the 19th century. In Finland, it's said that the cake was dedicated to Alexander I, who is remembered in connection with the victory over Napoleon's army, and Finland gained autonomy during this period of history. In Riga, Latvia, the triumphal arch remains in memory of this emperor. Latvia, Estonia, and Finland were forcibly included in the Russian Empire in the 19th century, so it's possible that the cakes were baked in the respective territories in honor of the Tsar's visits. In Finland, there are also stories that the origin of the Alexander cake come from the kitchen of the Russian Imperial Court, while there it was introduced by Western European hired cooks as a recipe from Switzerland. Are you confused yet? Because now we're taking a trip to Denmark. Denmark also bakes a similar cake called Hinbeersnitten or raspberry slice. Danish scientist and historian B. Skarup included this cake in a study in which she collected 130 national Danish dishes, of which 21 were Danish cakes that had been eaten for at least three generations. Raspberry slices have been baked in Denmark since the 18th century, and they were especially loved by the fairy tale king Hans Christian Andersen himself. In Denmark, even nowadays, this cake is extremely popular and it's offered in many bakeries and patisseries. It even has its own website, which among other things mentions another alternative name for the cake, translated as Geneva Slice. So we have reached Switzerland. Also in Denmark, there's the Nuremberg slice, which is covered in chocolate glaze and is called the deluxe version of the raspberry slice. In Switzerland, we don't find much in regards to the Alexander cake. There are similar recipes such as the Linzer cake, which is a shortbread dough and raspberry or currant jam filling. And there's also an orange type of dessert that's similar called an orange schnitli, which is eaten at Christmas time. But as far as the Alexander cake goes, yes, Himbeerschnitte 
or raspberry slices are eaten in Germany and the Germanic countries. However, there's not a lot in regards to the history of Alexander cake found there. So while attributed to Latvian cuisine, it is eaten in Finland, Denmark, Germany, Switzerland, and other surrounding countries as well, such as Estonia. So in conclusion, perhaps we'll never know the truly definitive answer of where this cake originated from, though it does have the name Alexander in it, so perhaps it really is connected to the Tsar Alexander I. But for the sake of this video, I am calling these Latvian Alexander cakes because they are enjoyed and are a staple in Latvian cuisine as well as the neighboring countries. Now let's take a look back at the recipe. Slide both pieces of dough onto your separate baking sheets and bake these in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius preheated oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until the edges are lightly golden. And make sure to rotate the sheets halfway through for even baking. After baking, let them cool completely before moving on to the next step. To finish the cake, spread what will be the bottom layer of the cake with 350 milliliters or 12 ounces of seedless raspberry jam. Other traditional jam flavors include red or black currant and lingonberry if you'd prefer to use those. Once the bottom layer has been spread with jam, carefully release the top layer from the parchment with an offset spatula and ever so carefully slide it onto the raspberry jam layer. If you get a small crack here or there, it's not the end of the world. Gently press that onto the raspberry jam and then you're going to take a knife and clean up the edges to make it look like a clean, neat and even rectangle. For the icing, whisk together 150 grams or one and a third of a cup of powdered sugar with two tablespoons of melted butter and the juice of half a lemon. Add the lemon juice a tablespoon at a time. After two tablespoons of lemon juice, I switched to using water because I didn't want the icing to be too sour. This is the consistency you're looking for, something pourable but not so much that it runs off the cake. Now pour that onto the cake and then spread it out evenly to all the edges, leaving the sides unfrosted. You could leave it as is, or if you want to add pink feathering, mix together 50 grams or half a cup of powdered sugar with a couple tablespoons of hot raspberry jam and some lemon juice until you reach a tracing consistency. I put mine into a small resealable plastic bag as a makeshift piping bag and cut off one corner and then I piped the pink icing in strips and then I used a toothpick to create feathering. Another alternate decoration could be crushed freeze-dried raspberries or also sprinkles. You'll want to let this sit overnight before slicing into it to give the raspberry jam time to soak into the shortbread. This will keep it from slipping and sliding and the jam from oozing out as you slice into it. Let's give this gorgeous dessert a try. Yum. I love raspberry desserts and I love the buttery shortbread that it's sandwiched between. The jam has softened the shortbread, so it's soft to bite into, not hard. So I can, it actually has a little bit of a cake-like texture like the name implies. And I love the icing on top just a hint of lemon and I love that there's a little bit of butter added into a regular white icing it kind of cuts the sweetness a little bit so that is really nice I highly recommend trying this recipe 
If you enjoy European baking with a side of history and culture, then hit that like button and consider subscribing for more weekly videos like this one. For more raspberry desserts, check out these two videos and I will see you next time.